My parents signed me up for piano lessons when I was four. I actually don't remember the first couple of ones. I was too young. Um, which is kind of interesting. In, in my conscious memory, I've always known how to read music. I've always known that music is something you study and you practice. And I've always had this, this piano lesson idea of music. It's always made me a little envious of, you know, a lot of people in the string band tradition learned by listening and learned by watching and, like, did not know how to read music. And I've always kind of wondered what that was like and how music must sound to someone like that as opposed to someone who's trained. Van Halen songs. <laughs> um, Jimi Hendrix songs. A lot of guitar songs. I started playing guitar when I was 12. And I kind of, the reason I wanted to play guitar and the reason my parents approved is because I wanted to play it in the middle school jazz band, which I did wind up doing, and so I wound up studying a lot of jazz guitar as a kid. But, you know, when I took my first guitar lessons, that guy was into Eddie Van Halen and music like that, and so right off the bat, he's showing me that, and I'd never really paid attention to, like, heavy metal guitar, or, you know, and this is, like, in the, in the 1980s, so it's like, this is great. So like, you know, my formative, like I'm starting to play guitar, the music is great and it's not boring, like taking piano lessons and I'm gonna learn to play a Van Halen song. Blah, 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 you know? You know, like when I first bought my mandolin, I would wind up getting all the mandolin music I had, like in a little or order and I'd listen to it. And that was Ripple by the Grateful Dead, um, Maggie May by Rod Stewart. And that was it. I very shortly thereafter bought a Ricky Skaggs disc and a David Grisman, Jerry Garcia disc. But yeah, for a little bit, I'd listen to like Ripple and Maggie Mae and then like listen to my other records and try and figure them out on mandolin. You know, all of us either have played in rock and roll bands or dreamed of playing in rock and roll bands or both since we were all pretty young. And none of us really dreamed of or pretended we were in string bands ever. And so this band is kind of, I mean, it's a wonderful experience, but like every, like all of kind of like, like call it your, uh, your battery of mental energy, that's coming from a rock and roll charge, not a bluegrass charge or a traditional music charge. Like what gets us excited about music is like rock and roll music. And so I think there's always been that tension in the way we play. There's always been the sort of like, man, if this were really happening, there'd be drums and Marshall amplifiers up here. So I have to do this on my mandolin to approximate it. And I will hit that thing as hard as I can. And it goes, Kong, you know? <laughs> I feel like we're always like grasping for that rock and roll chaos, even though we're a string band. I'm Eric from Trampled by Turtles. Subscribe to Bonnaroo 365 to stay plugged in to good stuff all year round. Bonnaroo.